Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to run a vanilla Terraria server. So, first thing you want to do, um, if you are if you use Steam, which I do, you want to make sure that you are up to date. So, right click Terraria, go to properties, and go to local files, and click verify integrity of game cache. That'll make sure that you are using the most current version of Terraria. Okay, so once that's done, let's go into our start menu, go to computer, and we're going to our local disk C, which is where Windows is installed. Now, I'm using a 64-bit Windows, so I have program files and program files 32-bit. So go into the program files x86, which is the 32-bit. And if you scroll down, you'll see Steam. And inside the Steam folder, you will see Steam Apps. And inside Steam Apps, you will find Common. And here is all your game folders. So let's go into Terraria, and we see that Terraria server.exe is right here. So we're going to just copy it because we don't actually want to take it out of here. Uh, we want to make sure that's always there in case we ever need it again. And then we will paste it here. Oops. And you can see I've already got the server here. So I just copied and replaced it. Okay. So everything you need to run your Terraria server is all contained within this one exe file. So if you double click it, then your server starts. You pick the world. You can actually create a new world from here, which is kind of nice. You don't have to launch the game. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pick one that I've already created. Leave that default. Leave that default. Port forwarding. Um, the automatic port forwarding is for if you are hosting this server, this vanilla Terraria server, and you want your friends to join you that are in a different building, such as their home. They're not actually in your house. Um, so this would bring outside players from the internet onto your server. And to check your your address that you would give your friend, because you need to give them your external IP address, not your internal. And what that means is uh, there's an IP address that the outside internet sees. And we're just going to Google this. You just want to go to What's my IP.org? Okay, you click that and it will tell you your public IP address. This is what you give your friends. Okay? So, anyway, we can turn that on if we're going to have our friends join. And if you want a password, you can enter it right here. And as you can see, load it up pretty quick. So now we join our server from our Terraria client. So we we'll go to multiplayer, join. Let's go with, uh, we'll just pick this person. Now you can either type local host or you can type 127.0.0.1 which is your loopback address which points uh, your connection back to your computer and that happens to be the computer we're obviously hosting the Terraria server on so we'll go ahead and use that address we'll use the default and here we are and the nice thing about playing on a server instead of just doing single player and playing on the single player world is that you have access to this command and or, or, or this uh, server right here. So if you type help, you can enter commands here. And um, these obviously you can just read and it'll tell you what they do. But one of the most helpful features if I'm trying to build or explore and I really hate nighttime for a while, well I can just change the time to dawn. Or if I need a lot of light I can go to noon and and then the zombies will leave you alone and all the creatures of the night. 
Also, if you're ready to fight a boss and you need nighttime, you can do midnight. And then when you're done, you can go back to noon. But that's one of the most uh, helpful features about having this vanilla, just regular Terraria server that comes with the game. So, anyway, if you guys have any questions about hosting a regular vanilla Terraria server, then just leave me a comment. And thanks for watching, I appreciate it.